Have you ever been in the shower and been touched by the cold ghost? The gust of wind that rushes into your shower and blows that curtain into your leg. <laughs> giving you the chills all over. Me too. And I'm sick of it. So I was like in the shower thinking there's got to be something I can do about this. This is driving me nuts. And I was like, okay, well the magnets on the bottom, they're not holding it well enough. There's like three or four on the curtain already and it's not cutting it. So I went to the place where we all go when we're looking for a solution. And I thought there's got to be weights that people put on the bottom of the shower curtain to prevent it from being blown out by that cold ghost of cold air when you're taking a nice warm shower. So I went on Amazon and I got uh, four different options of uh, shower weights. I searched shower curtain weights on Amazon and this is what came up. I chose the most expensive one, the one with the most positive reviews, and then I chose the cheapest one. But because the cheapest one looked like it might not quite be what we're looking for, I also went for a runner-up that's also a cheaper option. So we're gonna start by uh, unboxing all these guys. Let's start with the cheapest one, which is, I believe, this guy right here. This is exactly how everything came, stuffed in one bag together. Uh, this one is missing the top tab on the package. This package is completely destroyed. But this right here is our cheapest one. Uh, let's open this guy up real quick. So this one here is the Amoy 8-pack shower curtain clip set. So, just like I thought, so this is a adhesive clip set to, um, you stick this onto your wall or wherever in your shower, and then you have to clip your shower curtain to it every single time, which I think is going to be too much of a hassle. I, I don't know that this is what we're going to use. I don't even think I'm going to test this one out. This is the cheapest one, but I'm going to say off the bat, that is a fail. I don't want to have to sit here and clip my shower curtain down every time I get in the shower. I just want to be able to close the shower curtain and it stays down. So the runner up, glad I got it, but uh, it looks like it's broken, um, is this one, the weighted shower curtain. So it comes with these little <laughs> insulated foam pieces here for shipping, but then we have these stainless steel balls and clips. So one of these clips had escaped and was wandering around in the bag. So hopefully we still have them all. But it only came with four. This is a four pack of uh, the Exlat to four piece shower curtain weights. Uh, it says that these are 0.32 pounds. I don't know if that's a full set or each. So to test that, I have a scale. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. And we've already been zeroed. So let's start by just putting the weight and the clip on. You know what? We're on a uh, mouse pad. That might be throwing off our measurement here. Let's slide our mouse pad over here. All right, so we're now measuring in ounces. This ball with the clip is 1.27 ounces. Uh, if we want to include our little foam piece, it literally doesn't even register as it being a weight. 1.27 ounces. So at least they all weigh the same, but I don't like that it's so easy to take them on and off. I wish that it came pre-assembled with this guy just pinched closed. Come on, you guys. Wish they would have pinched it closed. But these are the cheap option of our four hour uh, shower curtain weights. Next, let's go to, these are our top rated weights here. This is a four pack as well of white silicone coated magnets. They're very powerful. Uh, just a flat surface that they stick to each other, just like that. Let's go ahead and weigh them. So our first ones were the 1.37 ounces. These are 3.39. Wow, that is a heavy little shower weight there. 
great. And let's compare 3.39, 3.39, 3.39, 3.39. And 3.39. So they're all consistent in weight. That's good to know. So that is our top rated one. Let's go ahead and move to our most expensive one. So I think the main reason this is the most expensive is because it comes with 24 of these guys here. There's a lot of plastic packaging. Each one of these is definitely lighter than those white than our top rated ones. These are also magnetic. Um, they're a plastic with a, a small magnet in them. And let's see how much these ones weigh. 0.8, these are the lightest ones at 0.8 ounces, which does not give me confidence, but I think with the combined weight, they might be uh, able to compare to the others. But it looks like they're all consistently the same weight. So let's go ahead and just weigh them all together. So our top rated ones all together weigh 13.51 ounces. And then all of our wee little ones, our cheapest ones are 5.15 ounces. And then the big pack all together box, we're going to zero that out. Now we're going to put them all back in the box here. And a grand total of 19.93. So that it it is a total that is the highest weight. So the total weight is higher than our highest rated, but there are a lot more of these little guys. All right, let's go ahead and start by installing them and see how they perform. We'll t try each one for, uh, I think, two shower cycles each, just to see if they work and how they work, if they have any issues, if they fall off, things like that. And then we'll come back and give a final review. All right, so here we are in my shower. So let's go ahead and um, attach these guys. So let's just grab the end of the shower curtain here. Grab it like that. Like that, yeah. Doesn't seem like it's gonna do a lot, but we're gonna test it out here. All right, and uh, hopefully that will keep the uh, icy breeze from blowing the shower in. Let's put these guys to the test and I will uh, get back to you when we're switching out to the next ones. So we have our four little things hanging here. The weights and um so it works but um because this is a standing shower only i have to bring all of our rings over to this one side so that it brings the rest of it almost taut um so there's less like actual ripple in the shower curtain itself um where it'd be nice to be able to just kind of have it wherever however but if it's like that, then you get a lot of these pieces here where it can bunch up and then blow out and touch your leg when you're showering. So, um, but let's take a look at how this performs when taking a hot shower. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but um, it works, but not perfectly. After just two showers, I can already see rust forming inside of there. You guys see that? Getting some corrosion. So that's just two showers. Imagine if you wanted to keep that for a long period of time. All right, so now we're moving on to our other option here. We got our, um, our top rated ones. These are really heavy, but there's again only four and then they just slide apart. They're covered in silicone, so we don't have to worry about rusting. I'm just going to throw these guys on here like this. Just wow, that's you can already tell the difference. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the difference on that. Like it already like that's a huge difference already. I think my wife is really going to like that. So we're going to try this one out for a couple of days and we will get back to you when we're swap out for the next set. That performs 
way better. So um, similar to the last one, I still kind of pull the center tight as far apart as I can and then kind of bunch everything up on the sides, but I don't have to be special about it. It all just kind of works and it keeps itself down. One other thing I did know, notice is that I definitely need to make sure that I keep the weights below or even with the top lip of the tub. Otherwise, if they're sitting too high, they'll start to float out. <laughs> but uh, other than that, thumbs up for me from the start. All right, so um, with all of the little things on here, let's go ahead and see how it performs uh, while taking a shower. All right, you guys, it's now been like three and a half months since I got these weights and um, I think the tests were kind of obvious. The, the first one with these, <laughs> these little things um, were almost frustrating. The little shower weights with the clips. Um, the clips all have started to rust and um, have like, yeah, just corrosion. It, it, they're not great. If you're really trying to pinch pennies, yeah, they'll kind of work, but like even you saw in the little playback video when I fast forwarded through it, you can see even with the weight on there, the, the little cold icy gust of wind was still able to blow open or blow out the uh, shower curtains. So these guys, I don't recommend getting them, but um, the other two options are actually really great options. So if you have multiple shower curtains you're trying to do this to, I might actually recommend going with this mega pack of 24 of them. But if you're just doing one, it's hard to beat the, the silicone ones. They worked fantastic. Even in the video playback, uh, you could see that there was some spots because they were there's only four of them, they're a little further spaced out. And so there was one spot that wasn't pulled taut and it kind of blew a little bit, but it was never enough or even anywhere near like with even the smaller weights. I wish that the silicone had maybe six instead of just four, but I understand that really four probably will work for most people. If you have two on the ends and then two somewhat centered, I think that would probably work best for most people or even having them in a little bit from the end so you can have them closer to the center because I imagine you're not standing on, if you have like a full size bathtub, you're not standing on the edges so it can let air flow that way and then it keeps the center pushed out and away so you don't get that cold ghost touching your ice legs. Anyway, um, but if you're doing multiple, uh, go ahead and go with the 24 pack of these little ones. One thing to note though, um, I actually decided to do a blend with ours. So like I said, I wanted more. Uh, so I have the silicone ones and then in between the silicone ones in the middle, I have these little black ones. But one thing I found after some use, and you may not be able to tell here is, this right here is where the magnet is. It's a tiny little magnet. There is a tiny little magnet underneath here and all that's holding the magnet in is this little piece of a sticker. So I pulled the little sticker back and as you can see, there's um, a little magnet in there and the only thing really holding it in aside from maybe the metal behind it is this sticker, this piece of paper that they both have. Well, the paper is definitely not waterproof so some of the ones in there, um, I went to move one and the magnet actually pulled through sticking to the opposite magnet on here. So that's one thing to think about is like if you're ever planning on moving them, the magnet might pop off, but they still hold on just fine. There's a piece of metal in behind the magnet that it'll pull itself back together. A design flaw perhaps, but honestly, that's my opinion. If you're gonna have one shower that you're taking care of, I highly recommend going with those larger top rated silicone ones, or if you're doing multiple showers, um, go for this uh, 24 pack of uh, these plastic ones. Both of them will work. You'll need more of these little plastic ones than you will of the big silicone ones, but overall they do the job well enough um, one of the thing I did notice and my wife actually complained a little about when we had all of these on there is that there's just so many, it's constantly just like a wind chime opening it. Just, and it's, it's not 
pleasant to listen to. Granted, in my hands, it might be, it's not sound so bad, but when they're free hanging, they just, it's a different sound and it's, it's not pleasant. It sounds like coins just bashing together. It's not great. So, but the silicone ones have that silicone coating, so they just kind of have a soft thud. You don't even notice it or hear it. There's my recommendation though. Looking at these guys on Amazon, um, the cheapest one first, they are still $4.99. And then if we go for the four pack of the top rated right now, they are on sale for $15.99. I think I spent $17 to $16.99 that it originally was. So right now around Christmas time, it is on sale at $15.99. And then you have the 24 pack, not on sale, at the same $32. Um, pretty consistent pricing. And you can even buy less of these plastic ones if you wanna go for these ones, which actually might be cheaper than even the top rated ones. But then our silicone ones are the ones I recommend the most. You can actually get it in a six pack, and it's now $21.99 instead of uh, the 17 or $16. I definitely recommend going with the six pack. Period, the end. That's the one I recommend. I didn't even realize until I just jumped in right now that it offers a six pack option. Go with the six pack option. It's, it's what, $3 more? It's Amazon, come on. You just get the $3 more, you can thank me later. Um, or you'll never know that it was a problem because you got the right one in the first place and you never have to think about it again. There you go. If you have questions for me, uh, let me know. I. Uh, We'll be happy to answer those in the comments section down below. If you want to get any of these shower weights that I reviewed today, I'll have links for those down in the description as well as up in the little info icon above in the corner here. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to further help support this channel, you can do that by go ahead and using those Amazon links and then doing your shopping from there because I am an Amazon affiliate. Using those links do help to support this channel. Thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.